everyone. Like in the previous video, we were discussing how important listening is to improve our speaking. And we also told in, the, in conclusion that we should be discussing what are the best five sources of listening. Yes, when we have understood that listening is important and we give commitment to ourselves that okay, I'll definitely listen for half an hour or one hour according to your you know, availability of time. But what to listen and what are the best sources which will actually give the best results. Definitely I'll vote first source for the TED Talks, the technology, education and design talks which are very very famous and you can find them in YouTube. The platform is very very diverse and you'll have some great speakers and not only uh, just for the uh, language purpose like new ideas and the kind of motivation it gives it's a wonderful combination. So while listening TED Talks of course when foreigners speak the accent problem will be there but we should have some patience. We can basically try to reduce the speed of the video but we should be giving some time to gain comfort. We should not feel that we are not understanding that or it is too high. No. Initially, we'll I mean the beginners will feel that the vocabulary being used in the talk shows is high but slowly, slowly, once you understand the importance of it, you'll enjoy watching it and the vocabulary building which can happen through TED Talks is really, really excellent. And the second part is as uh, diverse culture people and from different background uh, will be speaking, you can find multiple accents also. So that's one more plus point in TED Talks. So it's a very famous platform, but I'm just saying it for the people who don't know it. Definitely find some time to basically, uh, you know, give some time to uh, listen for TED Talks. The next resource, the next source, crickets or any sports commentary, because not everybody is a cricket lover but soccer, tennis, etc, etc. While commentary also, you can basically understand how to start using adjectives continuously. They will be praising the players, they will be describing the situation, game plan, etc, etc. So, we spend hours and hours when you know big matches happen. If you can pay attention to the commentary, it will do magic to your language. Third source, watching documentaries. Again, the finest language will be used uh, in you know documentaries like you know discovery or whatever it might be. Uh, you can Google any interesting topic so that it is adding some interest element also, and also language is getting better. So in documentaries also, the finest vocabulary will be used. Watching your favorites interview, and this is something which I have applied since my childhood, at least from being a Telugu medium student to able to get some command on English language. I used to watch my favorite heroes and any celebrities interviews so that again I am having fun in it. I am getting some satisfaction how they have made it so big. At the same time, you are also learning even they have eventually evolved in their language like every celebrity gets updated just to get more ads, to get more recognition, more fan following. Similarly, we are. We are daily learning and I think watching celebrities and favorite interviews will also a great pastime as well as it will give you good experiences. But again, the basic purpose is we are improving our language also. The last one is talk shows. Talk shows are very, very fun. I'm talking about the celebrity chat shows again, where you will be seeing some rapid fire rounds. Why I'm suggesting that because again, the latest vocabulary, the, you know, substitute words, some very new words will be used in talk shows. I mean the big channel like Coffee with Karan kind of shows. Like very latest vocabulary will be used and again that can be very very handy in, in our maybe in an IELTS examination or in your interview skills or language should not be just learned for selfishness. A language learned is always permanent and it can take you to places and that should be the broader thinking that will give you higher motivation to learn a language. So friends, these are the top five sources which I feel and I have done some uh, survey of how people are getting benefited these uh, sources and these all sources are paying great, you know, great, great results to them. So remember the line on which we did the video, only great listeners can become good speakers. Thank you.